Hi, I'm Murat Akhtar, I'm the president of Sterling Sound. It's a specialist company, we're a mastering studio, and mastering is, it's, I mean, if you were to kind of distill it down to one or two sentences, we do the final creative treatment to recording projects. Um, and that's what the company's known for, that's kind of what we do exclusively. The company was actually founded in 1968, I believe, by Lee Holko. And he was one of the first uh, to realize that you could do more with mastering. It was typically something that was done as the kind of the first stage in the manufacturing process. And the lathes were located at the record pressing plants and he actually decided to kind of decouple it and move the lathes back to a, you know, to and kind of combine the actual cutting process with a creative process in the hope of making the, the vinyl records sound more like the master tape. For years, from the kind of mid-70s until, until we gave up the space, it was at 1790 Broadway, which was um, um, basically Columbus Circle, like 57th and Broadway. When we moved down here to the Chelsea market, it was kind of you know, I would say that this neighborhood in, in 90, 97 and 98 was kind of on the fringes, which is great. It was, a, it, was, it was kind of a, you know, a bit edgy feeling and it's anything but edgy now. And part of the, one of the things that's happened is it's become one of the most, you know, kind of popular sought after, uh, you know, areas in Manhattan. It's a worldwide tourist destination and the High Line, when that was, let's say that that launched in 2007 or 2008, that basically runs right under us. And because of this, the real estate, I mean, it's, it's probably the most desirable real estate in Manhattan. It's, in, it's become incredibly expensive. So we knew quite a, quite a while ago that it was very unlikely that, we'd, that we would renew in the space. But then the question of where do we go and, you know, and how does that all work, that was an, you know, an enormously kind of long drawn out process. And, and then something that, you know, kind of, in a way, completely unexpected happens, which, which is we ended up deciding to go to two places. Uh, one, of our, one of my partners and uh, the, one of the longtime engineers at Sterling, Ted Jensen, had been spending time in Nashville, visiting clients, some family, and other things. And, and fast forward, we ended up deciding to, to split the company. I mean, the company's historically all been under one roof, and we decided to, to move part of the operation uh, you know, down to uh, to Nashville, and part of it, uh, we were also very lucky to find a very interesting building after three or four, um, you know, kind of false starts uh, on buildings in Hoboken and Jersey City and other areas. We found a fabulous building that we bought in uh, in Edgewater. It's the old post office building. So it was a WPA project from the uh, I think it was came online in 1937. And it's gorgeous building, beautifully built, and so we've been working on, you know, for the last, you know, 10 or 11 months on a big renovation and expansion of that. The reality is, is there's nothing about New York that's conducive to production and creative type businesses anymore. For us, it's not even, it's not even about just us, it's the entire, you know, kind of community is, recording community and production community is really, you know, kind of moving out of the city. And so some of them are in the, you know, the kind of outer parts of Brooklyn and some of them are in wherever, you know, Long Island City and New Jersey. I mean, we're, so we're on, it's, you know, almost directly across from 125th Street on the other side of the river. So as, you know, as the crow flies, it's very, very close and it's 15 minutes in or 20 minutes in an Uber. We've been approached over the years to do, you know, to do other Sterlings and the, and the, the feeling that we always got from it is the reason that people come to Sterling is the engineers, the reputation of the engineers. I mean, listen, it's not just the engineers. It's the combination of the engineers and the facility and the technical team and, and everything. But it's that, you know, kind of, it's that kind of grouping. And so the, the thinking for us is that if we, if we did, you know, some type of a, you know, another operation, you know, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't be able to duplicate why, the reason for why people come to Sterling. And 
so that always kind of stopped us. We always felt like we would create a version of it, and then we'd be, and then people would want the original, and they would still, you know, they might try it, and then, and there, there'd be all these kind of thinking about whether it's as good as the, as the original one or whatever. So we just opted not to do it. This is really no different than our original thinking because it's the same team. I mean, it's just two of the engineers, Ted and Ryan, and their support teams, you know, Justin and Joe and, and, and uh, Barry Wolfson, the chief technical engineer. It's the exact same team from here. So it's not really the same as opening up, you know, a completely new operation. It's the same team under a new 